This tutorial will explain how to access, fill out, digitally sign, and send out your state or association forms from within Brokerment. To access the forms, navigate to a transaction and select a checklist or click on Documents under Assets. Besides having a checklist added, you must also have your contacts fully up to date. That way, the names and email addresses will auto-populate onto the appropriate section of these forms. Once your Users and Contacts section is filled out, you can navigate to the checklist or document and click a Use Forms button. If you need to access the entire forms library, click Use Forms on the right panel. If the checklist already has forms on the appropriate task, you can just click Use Forms on whichever form needs to be sent out. If the forms have already been assigned to the checklist, they'll appear on this list here. If more forms need to be added, or if your broker wants you to choose the forms individually, you can click Add More Forms, navigate to the correct forms library, and choose the correct forms. You will only have access to form libraries in the state in which you are active. Once you've chosen the correct forms, you can preview by clicking on them while choosing. You can hit Select. Here, click Next to move through the process. Now you can select people who should sign the document by clicking the Add Signer link for each additional signer. You can also remove the signers that are not required and assign the order in which the signers will sign the document. To do that, select Assign Signer Order and drag and drop the signers into the correct order. When done, click Next. From here, you can specify who needs to provide what information and where. Select an option from the top menu, checkbox, signature, initials, or date. Scroll to the required place on the document and specify where the field box should be located. Then select who should fill out this field box. Once you're happy with your form, click the arrow next to the Save and Close in the top right corner and select Send for signature. In the dialog box that appears, you can adjust the order in which the signers will sign the documents add CC recipients, and update the subject and message of the emails. When done, click Sign and Send. Once the document opens up, use the Start button in the top right corner or scroll and read the document and, when ready, begin typing, checking, signing, initialing, or dating anywhere you see a highlighted field box. Any field highlighted in red is required. Hitting the Start button takes you to the first required field. Once you fill it out, click Next in the right margin to go to the next required field. Once you're done with required fields, the Start button is renamed to Finish. You can continue reading the document and filling out the optional fields, or click Finish to move on to the Review and Consent screen. Once there, select the I Agree to Use Electronic Records and Signatures checkbox to agree to transact electronically and hit Finish. You're all set. The form has been filled out, signed, and sent out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.